Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues A to Z in which we're playing as the Blue Rose Society using the submod Blue Rose Rework uh, and this is a Holy Potatoes new submod for Old World Blues with a guaranteed 2 plus 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 hours of playtime so thank you to all those who have worked on this and uh, yeah this is a unique focus tree for the Blue Rose Society an unfortunate setback when the bombs fell, the FBI was not prepared and suffered harsh casualties, but they still had a fraction of the time to bring the essentials into the underground laboratories. Um, in the meantime, uh, we are playing as Blue Rose, but uh, we're about to go and get attacked by good old Lanius and his minions, so... Um, in the meantime, we're going to go with Earth's Defense Force, guard the line as best you can, we'll see what we can do. Led by Agent Smith and uh, Agent Cooper. Uh, we don't really even honestly have that much time to train, but we'll train for now since we can. And quickly set up everything else here so we can get, get her done. And ready to go. And we, my god, we're going to need some manpower. In the meantime, we'll go low, go high, train one. Yes, please. And there you go. We're good to go. Um, also, we do have some special things here. FBI stuff, Project Mogul. Mogul. Uh, do that, do this, do that. But. <clears throat> The disappearance of the director. The director calls his predecessors gone missing after a legion raid. He must be found and brought back to safety. Hello, directors. You're so keenly aware already. We, even the FBI, were not prepared for the apocalypse. The day the bombs dropped, the local department was still far too busy spending their time researching weapons and hunting down Chinese spies to notice the inevitable doom upon them. Once they finally realized what was really happening in the world around them, they tried to gather together everything they could and relocate into their large underground laboratories. However, the town was simply too brief until it blasted up. What did they focus on saving the most? Assembled railway underground. Underground uh, factories. Since villains underground are saved as much material as they could, well, that's what we're going to do in the Red Menace. The Legion's been comp compromising their missions for years now. First, it was a failure of a man, Paulus, and they sent a man in so cowardly he hides his face behind a mask at all times. He's going to fail. We must inform you that the investigation on the disappearance of former director Jeffries has made no progress since the last report. It's largely due to the Major Legion activity and heavy, heavy board patrols. Because of that, the agents have not been able to successfully get out of their tasks and will now be put on hold until a reduction of Legion activity occurs. I know it's bad news for you, Director. As I ordered to prioritize investigation and focus all available agents on this case, it will come directly from you. Now, I must not focus on the immediate threat of the Legion of the North. We'll have to continue the search later. I'll find him. There's no other way. The Director calls desperately trying to find his predecessor since he does not feel ready for holding the office of Director. Should we fail finding Jeffries, the consequences could be catastrophic. And we're going to go here anti tank rifle mastery, open the caches, and then get uh, defense protocol number five, and then finalize defenses. Um, handing out weapons to our units is one thing, but making them use them efficiently is another. We must enact emergency training sessions to have them be more useful. The ports are agents are bringing her as dire as they are out and surprising. Oh god, here we go. The Legion comes. Our residents are still scarred by the raids of Paul's, uh, a few years ago, but uh, now they have any more a savage centurion. He believes that we're nothing more than fools clinging to old traditions, but he's wrong. Let us uh, like Atlantis know that we have been protecting. Preparing for this very day ever since he stepped across the Rio Grande, our spies have infiltrated his ranks as best they can. Our residents have constructed fortifications, and our soldiers begun to mobilize while the scientists have studied their tactics in order to gain the advantage of battle. It must be our absolute priority to push him and his cohort back across the border and into the river to make sure they never return. Surely it be a challenging task, we must hope that our defensive protocols can accomplish the goal of defending our homeland. It's your decision which protocol we should execute first, Director. You must succeed for the sake of America and for the sake of all of our future. Good luck. Number four, finishing a massive network of bunkers and outposts in order to repel the Legion attacks. Task Force Theta, uh, follow Army's suggestion to bolstering their ranks via mobilizing the emergency strike teams. That might be good to do. Enact Defense Protocol Foxtrot, enact the scientist's plan to counter Legion tactics in order to stand a chance on the battlefield. Way more defense, plus 25%, that seems pretty good. Conduct Operation Sunset. These all have currently available operatives on a mission to damage Legion infrastructure. It's highly dangerous and will, according to our forecast, result in the death of many of them. I'm going with more Division Defense. Defense seems like a good idea. And open the weapon caches. During the rampage of Paulus, we buried many small caches filled with equipment and valuables in order to not have them sacked by the Legion. Now we'll dig them up and put them to good use. Sounds like a swell idea. Grab some of that, grab some of that, and grab some of uh, that. Put you in the bottom for now. Oh, uh, you better dig the heck in and, uh... Oh, I want that, but inspirational. I kind of want inspirational as well. You, on the other hand, are going to go with attack and defense. There's attack there. Infantry. Yeah, it's going to be mostly infantry for now. And yeah, open up the caches. Manpower? We have no manpower, but whatever. Defense protocol number five. Our researchers have been given enough time. They can now enact the calculated multiple role defensive doctrine plans. Probably get to that one quickly. Oh, they didn't get enough time to get that army XP. Oh, you don't even make the division then. Oh, I could have made the division now. God dang it. I should not have canceled it. My bad. I'm not sure what your land doctrine would go down, but we're going to go with this one. It's not going to go well for us. 
Don't fall ill now, bro. Well, at least we got the weapon caches. Grab that one. But it allows defenses too, so we'll get more entrenchment and organization. We're having repelled. The initial attacks were now able to regroup and organize and finally push the back. Well, let's hope so. It's D. Counterintelligence. Infiltration risk. Lambda. I kind of like Lambda. Infiltration risk goes down, which is very nice. Combat languages is good too. Oh crap. Oh crap, crap, crap. Uh, let's come here. So. Uh, federal investigations. The FBI has always been the best at homeland defense and knew exactly what was happening in the U.S. 200 years after the apocalypse, that's changed. Butter agents are still suited and willing to investigate occurrences and eliminate all threats to the society. Recently, we received reports about a vault in Texas, and I've heard rumors about an underground facility situated somewhere in the northwest. A few agents have also started investigation of the origins of the Great Force in the middle of Texas. We should dispatch agents to these locations immediately. And the Legion War. The Legion has, of course, returned to our lands once more. The first time they were successful and scattered people far, wide and far, but this time they'll fail. They'll, we'll hold the line, we'll defend our homes, we'll push them back to where they came from. Desperate defense measures? Defense of core territory? Oh my god, yes. Request arms from these people? We could. Request weapons from the Federation? Ooh, more saws. And ooh, call for Lubbock expedition? Yes, please. In the meantime, the Project Mogul, a hundred year pro research project that sought to study the methods by which new sciences can be used in novel ways to defeat the enemies of America, Roswell, New Mexico, served as a home for some of the Mogul's, Mogul's earliest experiments. After the Great War, the society has grown a lot in an attempt to fill the space left by proper American governance by establishing a local government of regional committees, led by a central representing Borden Roswell, however. Some proposed that the society's higher up so carry on the scientific tradition of the forebears in the shadows. We're currently researching. Same teams are arms sector. Well, we lose research people, get more factory output. Yeah, that's what I definitely want us to do. Um, do we need saws or anything? No, we're pretty good on saws and whatnot. We don't have a lot of manpower, but we oh we already have, do have saws. You know what? We might go with this one then. Oh boy, that's not good. Yes. Hold out for as long. You literally just hold out for as long as you possibly can. Come on. Bro, what are we supposed to do here? Can we even attempt to make an instrument this way, maybe? It's out of good for entrenchment. Oh, we just got that one done. This is definitely not ideal. Oh, great, you threw us some militia divisions. How oh, oh, fantastic. You actually might be able to lead a division, though. That'd be pretty nice. Nice. Uh, new blueprints. Our scientists have made a breakthrough. Without recently acquired funds, they're able to construct working energy weaponry with the destructive power far stronger than anything our adversaries will fuel. While this technology isn't new to the wasteland, we'll give each one of them a slight raise. Very good. Bruh. Ohm's law, nice. Could you destroy this? Could you, like, not die there? Could you do that? We steal operatives, or this one? So, sure, we can steal this one. The society has made great use of robots in underground laboratories by using them as helpers for tasks too mundane or dangerous for humans. We must now begin to use these robots in more tactical ways. Yes, sir. Bro, if you could just could, please. Let's do that. That'd be phenomenal. Beautiful. This is looking a bit too wide and spacious for my, me, but Robot Brigade number one. The scientists have attached laser armaments onto the protectrons and are now switching to more organically st staffed science labs. Well, can we make another segment here somewhere, maybe? You are attacking right there. I'm not sure why, but whatever. Something there, maybe? Oh, come on, god dang it. Steel operatives are nice. Oh. Let's 
I don't really want to expand too much yet. This is getting very dangerous for us. God dang it. It's exactly what I wanted to avoid. I hate this so much sometimes. It's turned to a giant friggin' mess. Well, let's save just in case. Also, if you want to look at the sub mod in the, uh, for yourself, it's in the description below. First link. Bruh. There you go. Let's get out of there. You know what? If anything, I should reduce this like that much. All them going start closing in a little bit more on us. Which sounds really weird, but that's what we need. Uh, field test operation. After many failed tests and some major setbacks, Casey is finally ready for the first failed test. Expect nothing less than absolute an utter annihilation of the enemy. Scientists to top themselves once more were able to develop and produce a of old world weaponry. Power armor. Oh, yes, please. Oh, God, they're going to come up for capital, aren't they? Bruh. Holy crap, that was close. Well, yeah. It's not very good. Agent N. I honestly might get rid of you soon. That's what we got right now, though. Honestly, if you just move fast enough, that'd be great. Nice. Sure, guys, that's on me. Nice. Yeah, we'll take him. That's what you really want to get. The crew soldier your efficiency. Soldiers are not operating efficiently enough. We must change that factor. We want to stand any chance, even if that means a few collaterals. Work is neat is nice. What else? A lot of time. Okay, why are you taking so long to get up there, bro? Come on, and are we there? Yes, we are. Good. Good. Let's have Lupus helping us out now. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, construct arms factories. We cannot compete with the Legion's massive industrial base, that we are certain of. However, reports indicate that Atlantis only exists a small fraction of their industry. With this knowledge, we conclude that we might be able to uh, produce them by produ constructing industrial factories. That'd be nice. Be very nice. Map Iraq the situation is desperate. The soldiers fight, uh, fight bravely to defend our mission, but we cannot hold out without replacements. So, therefore, an act of emergency draft, we want to stand any hope of victory. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Not bad, not bad. More funds to the agency. Uh, for now, the freedom of operative slots because of the investigation is halted. We can focus on our staff in the Bureau for proper intelligence gathering purposes, of course.
Mercenary Training Act. Seems shameful to admit, but that our current military training instructors simply aren't suited to fight against Legion. Hence, the decision was how to make the mercenaries who already have gathered experience fight against Legion. Good for army XP, too. What are you lacking? Anything here besides support robots? Good boy. Expand the agency. Girls made a request to allow only the expansion of the operation by exponential amount. According to this request, will be mutually beneficial for the society. Well, was this one first. Oh no, we got it done. Nice. Expand the agency first, then. Unsurprising victory. With the defeat of the Eastern Corps, we can now revert to focusing on the internal matters instead of petty exterior threats. The LA has been defeated. It's a great day for the entire society. Let's give us some more, more focuses. A little better. Ah, that's very nice. Power armor over here. It's very swell. Very good. Um, now research. Uh, we might go back to this one. Better consumer goods. We want to build more stuff up, you know. Batch construction, speed, why not? Not bad. That was actually really good. And we get a trade note, too. Awesome. Cost to throw out. It's a little bit of a Um, here. Very nice. He's going to Desert Fox? Yes, he is. Also disabled. No. Yep, no, not, not stable anymore. We just beat up your boy. Lone Star. Yeah, you know, we'll go with Lone Star. There you go. Rats. We don't want any rats in here. We don't like rats. But overall, not bad. Not bad. I love having that power armor. It's really nice. FBI boys. Defense protocol number six. Hello, Direct. Congratulations on your exemplary military conduct during your first campaign. I had full trust in the ability of your society to stand victorious. I was not disappointed. The land is back to Blackstaff. No more major delayed your troops in New Mexico. We can definitely conclude that. We ain't. We are safe once more. I do not be persuaded to think that it will stay like this. The Kaiser is reinforced with the Rio Grande and the executives are also causing inconveniences once more. I've already received your directive to reopen the investigation regarding Jeffrey's disappearance and we're working on the case with utmost priority. You've shown that you can lead a battle director, now you must show you can lead a nation. Now give me Jeffries. Lance has been defeated. It was a great day for the entire society. Get okay, aftermath of Lance. Oh. Oh no, we lost the divisions too. Well. That sucks, bro. Keep him down. Now we're down here. Investigation. Uh, so I'm sorry I'm searching for the former director. For the man known to be successful, must set up all agents on this case immediately. Most most certainly not be accepted by the other board members of the society. They want to focus on espionage and counterintelligence, but by using emergency powers, they can simply be ignored. This is, of course, far more important. Hello, Director. Now that the Legion has been dealt with, our agents have already started to resume their investigation on Jeffrey's disappearance. Furthermore, we've been convincing our new citizens to sign binding contracts in an effort to negate any amateurish Legion spies from gathering intelligence on our plans. If they should manage leaking data to Flagstaff, the consequences would be catastrophic. But it's now it's time for you to decide whether the agent should search for clues. Some will propose that instead of walking through the desert in circles, we might gain more knowledge on Jeffrey's plan by looking into our old files. Maybe then we can make new conclusions and develop more specific search regions. The majority of the board, however, insists that the current approach of interrogation search patterns is the best one. What is your call, Director? How should we proceed? Well, we can do old files and dusting off the terminals and whatnot and destroy our research speed with redacted. Or, oh, that's really bad. Uh, or actually, no, that removes it. Mine is 50% research speed. Or go by the textbook, which seems like a good idea. Interrogate all those people and get less resistance target, which seems like the smart thing to do. Let's go to the old files, because you never know what you might find. We're going to open the file cabinets. But going through some of our old files, we might find clues of what Jefferson was working on when he disappeared. Also, if you're going to read about old files, please go ahead real quick. <coughs> the incident. Uh, the reason why we're here in Roswell to begin with is it's a small incident in a field. Doesn't off the terminal, though. Deep under Roswell, there are many uh, uh, tunnels and uh, halls. Scientists work day and night in hopes of completing their more and more unrealistic deadlines. All for the purpose of maintaining the ideals of our great nation, of course. But there are rooms that even they don't know about. Most because it would ask someone, if they ask, uh, would ask someone, a uh, higher ranked, about what lays behind the large metal bulkhead, they wouldn't be around to tell anyone about it. The director, on the other hand, knows all about the place, and he also knows that Jeffries spent much time down there. Although no one board member knows what he did, he must have left some clues as to what he was doing behind, right? In any case, the decision was made to go down there. After a long set of stairs, um, Director Cole stood in front of the big rusty metal bulkhead. In 1947, he tapped into the keypad. There was a loud screeching noise as the cogs of the door motion. After that, an even louder noise as the door finally set in its final resting place. Now it stood wide open, Cole set foot into the dark hallway behind it. After walking for about ten more minutes, he entered a large room stacked to the brim with piles and piles of file cabinets and drawers. Cole walked up to the inventory terminal in the corner of the room, as he knew it kept logs on all the 
data stored here. Well, at least there was no one being neglectful about doing the work, of course. Darn, no one's been here for a while, have they? Cole thought to himself when he saw a thick layer of dust on the keyboard. How the heck was he down here so long without suffocating? But we're start looking. Let's start at the very beginning. In the Project Mogul. Uh, after Redacted was relocated or redacted, the FBI were assigned to a new task, one which would combine the most modern research methods with Homeland Defense. This project was called Project Mogul. Very cool. Hey, look, we got some manpower back. Let's take a look-see. Uh, Demand tribute? Nope. Um, we're working on compliance. Resistance is... Oh my god. Not bad. Yeah, people are just killing each other left and right, which is fine. Whatever. No one really cares about them. Oh, they have... Power armor. Chief Executive McKinley. Have I played as him before? I might have. There goes Crusher's army. Goodbye. Bloodstained walls. or in by force. Oh, the incident. Oh boy. <coughs> On July 4th. 1947, around 0130, local police reported spotting a large show of smoke in the car near Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, Corona Police Station uh, dispatched units consisting of two police officers to investigate the reports. Corona, New Mexico. Unit arrived at the scene around 0200 hours. According to the reports, the unit spotted an unknown damaged object located in a cornfield near Cor Corona. Co uh, Corona? No, not Corona. Conora, uh, New Mexico. Officer stated his partner attempted to approach wreckage for closer inspection. He reported him melting almost immediately into a bunch or a bluish puddle. The remaining officer requ requested immediate backup from the police station. Reinforcements suffered a 90% casualty rate before being able to detain the suspect. The creature was detained for around 0300 hours and the FBI was notified. As uh, 0413 hours, agents arrived at the location They proceeded by questioning personnel. Police was neutralized. Agents took captives to a holding facility in Roswell, New Mexico. Agents recovered an object from the center located it to a temporary storage unit. On July 5th, 40, uh, 1947, captive was interrogated, but without useful results, agents were unable to translate a suspect's noises into useful data. On July 7th of the same year, Army Command declared a situation a threat to national security and ordered the FBI to relocate suspect and object to location in Nevada immediately. On July 8th, all agents were ordered to stay in New Mexico and express local investigations. Interesting, but not very new to me. One unit of American Pulse Energy Weaponry. Cool. It's way too ahead of time for us. Um, I'm not sure what land auction we should really go down, so we're not going to go down any land auction. Uh, we don't really have any robots either here too, so it kind of sucks what we can choose, but we're going to definitely choose this one. Redacted. Top secret. Access restricted. Redacted. I guess we're redacted, sons. Um, I don't mind. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot about this too. I always forget about this in Old World Blues. The land auction stuff. There you go. Makes it slightly cheaper, but still. Go train one for now. We want spec ups or can we get power armor? I love power armor. I, I love, 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 love power armor so much, but, you know. I'm gonna roll the punches. These guys are not terrible. We did make them 12 combat with, so. You know, we probably honestly need a new general. How much armor speed are we getting? Or, command power are we getting? Not bad. 0.56. Could be better. Once the visitor was taken care of, the FBI spent years trying to prevent rumors about the incident from spreading. This, however, did not go as planned, and the high age of presence in the area only helped stirring up such myths. Once this was realized by the government, they declared the operation a failure. The FBI was ordered to proceed by reassigning all personnel to a new weapon development project situated near Roswell. They are tasked with assisting the scientists with the field experience of protecting the project from Chinese spies or worse. Established in 2050, the project would be called Project Mogul, with the task being the development of weapons and the machines that would destroy any threat of invasion to the USA. The project did not bring results fast enough for its arms to be used during the invasion of Anchorage, which greatly upset its project leaders to the point where they would let the researchers work double overtime before they get paid. Also, it's however pointless in the end because when the bombs dropped, no plasma rifle or rocket could even save the United States anymore. Luckily, the facility is remote and protected enough to withstand the fallout, but with no one to give orders and nowhere to go, they ended up just continuing the research indefinitely. Although there have been a few complications, they're still doing it 200 years later. And we'll do it 200 more. Drawing conclusions. The investigation has almost come to an end. It's now time for a general meeting of the board to discuss the final steps. Surely they'll also all support us. Surely they will. Surely they will. As we're hopefully getting basic training appointments. Get more army XP game for a little bit more. A little more army experience. B better division training time, which we're not really going to use too much, but whatever. Um, how many guns do we actually have? We have actually plenty enough stuff here. Just, you know what, for the few days, train. Look at all that army XP we're getting. Oh, just so much. Just so much. Um, resistors. Resistor, I hardly know her. Okay, maybe that's a bit too hundred. 500 days, that's a bit too much. Okay, then, train dogs. I like doggies. Don't own any doggies, but whatever. I love doing a focus that says redacted. Redacted. I'm the screw and director. Cole shot, clearly upset by not being able to access the latest entry in the terminal. He attempted to manually go through all the files by hand until he found the physical copy. 
After two hours of furiously searching, the, he found the folder labeled Vault 81B, so he opened it, redacted. How is that possible, Cole thought? Why was it redacted? No one ever goes down here. It looks like it was redacted recently. How is that possible? How? Let's get, could this been the work of Jeffries? Why did he do that? What would have been so important that he didn't want anyone to know about it, even to go to such lengths as to sneak away and investigate it alone? The questions filled Cole's mind without him getting any answers. He started to go through all the files again and again, once, twice, thrice, all to no avail. Eventually, he ordered a team of the Society's best code crackers to work on the terminal and gain access to the file. A week later, they gave up. All I could gather was that it was indeed the former director who made the redaction. Cole couldn't allow himself any longer. He had uh, nothing. The investigation was a complete failure. With the resources depleting and the board getting louder and louder, he knew that there was no point in continuing. He also knew that was, what to do now. Oh no, we failed. Oh. Oh, well, that's not good. The meeting. The board of the Blue Rose Society does not meet often, especially recently since it became essentially powerless due to the coal making full use of the emergency powers he obtained during the conflict with the Legion. Leaving them all in, only to watch as Cole pulverize the budget and wasted scientists' time. But now the emergency power is running out, they started becoming louder and louder once more. The board started making demands about drastic changes in the structure of the society. Cole knew this all too well when he met with the board once more. He wanted to perform damage control to keep repercussions from investigating from the investigation to a minimal level. Furthermore, he planned to keep the emergency power for an extended term in order to manage things fast without having to ask for permission from the board before issuing orders. He laid these plans out from front of the board at the meeting. To the surprise of no one on the board but himself, however, these demands are not to be simply too much to ask for. The other members had early experienced something outrageous as this, and had secretly made their own plan for the future of the nation, Cole. Only realized this when a man with an all too familiar face emerged from the back of the room and laid out his own demands towards the director, while claiming he acted in representation of the entire board. Director, your inability to help this project to maintain its mission has greatly reduced its efforts. This entire undertaking, your investigation, was a product of an ill conceived plan, a series of ignorant choices, mistakes resulting in complete failure. The board believes that the best course of action is now to change the leadership to ensure the integrity of the society. For all this opinion, director, the only future for the society is a future without you. You know how much I sacrifice? It all comes tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Politics will change. Alien extermination will be. Agent Smith. Isolation is paranoid. Just five world goals have goes way down. Especially on us. Agent Smith is a man surrounded by mystery. Not many know him outside of his occasional broadcasts, and even those who met him in person don't know much more than he wants them to know. Some may even begin to call him by the nickname The Man in Black, since there's, it, he shows his face so rarely. There's only one thing that everyone is sure of after meeting him he doesn't like Zetons. Zetons. Oh god, I'm pronouncing that wrong. Please remind me in the comments how to do that. Back in black. Hmm. The fools are taken care of. The opposition is gone. The doubts no more. Our uh, week passes over. Now the future of humanity can finally begin. Cool. Focus on the real enemy. Jews? No. The idi idiot Gordon was searching through the white, the, through the sand while he should have been looking at the sky. There are more beings more advanced than we can imagine up there, and we it must be stopped from, stopped from taking over the, our world. Eyes of the sky, air range. Oh, wow. Kind of sucks. Travel scout gets a guess. Make enough base weaponry for now. Absorption. Is this still going? Oh, it is. It's good. Um, so it would be nice, but we might actually get more, want to get more political power too. Actually, now with that done, we actually get more, hopefully more political power as well. I don't mind getting the person in the community, Agent Yu. A little ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a bit more political power. Oh, slave collars? Oh, I love slaves. Get the power armor just in case. Uh, we'll go broad balloons next. And we do a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. I'm really satisfied. My cup of coffee is no longer warm. But back in black. How do the old directors take care of? The board started running around again about uh, arguing who would be the successor. 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 And I decided this was a gratuitous thing to do. Unknown to the board members, there was someone who already had all the pieces in place to take leadership. This son was none other than Agent Smith. They've been scheming him for years just for an opportunity like this. Now such an opportunity had arisen. He merely had to play his cards right, so it came that quickly that board members found themselves receiving threats and, and if not complying, even waking up tied to a chair. Hmm. While some hoped that with the deposing of coal, a new era of prosperity and return of the traditions could take place, it simply wasn't to be. The man of black is simply called by some of his associates. I take almost full control of the Blue Rose Society. He didn't even seem to care about creating a prosperous nation. Instead, it seems almost obsessed with the FBI's oldest nemesis, the Zetans. Zetons. Or has the board been issued to arrest anyone whose behavior seems suspicious or may indicate extraterrestrial cooperation? Excellent. Using the FBI for your own game? Couldn't be America in 2023. Uh, watch America. Watch the sky. Watch the sky. Yeah. The construction of aerial defenses was neglected by previous directors. They did not see the danger that can come from leaving our cities unprotected and against attack from above. This error will now be corrected. Followed up with uh, setting up listening posts. Now, constructing radar stations proved to be a genius plan since it would not only reveal dangers on the ground but also in the sky. Mass surveillance. I love it. Uh, while we are busy protecting our citizens, they have grown rebellious and have opposed our, to our rule. They don't see that we just want the best for humanity. Launching a surveillance program to locate the riders should be an efficient idea. And here we are now at, in which... Whatever, Los Alamos. 
Did it blow up? Or does it, has it always been like that? Plan a wall. Huh. Anyways. Um, the Severance Federation is justifying on us, but they have like another roughly 100 days to justify, because they're manually justifying on us. You know, I left this on historical, but whatever. Punish disloyalty. We should identify everyone who's been causing unrest. Now we can begin with the second phase of the plan. If they do not wish to be saved, they should be disposed of. We'll lose the population, but get way better resistance targeting those places and get way better compliance. Southern Condemnation. Disturbing the Southern Condemnation. The Native American on a southern border have been a nuisance for a while, raiding our farms, stealing our assets, and breaking down our contracts. Past leaders ignore this most because of mes uh, Mescalero. Have raw rare materials and valuable trade, but, but the time of ignoring them has ended. We'll punish them by force and take over the resources by force as well. Are you. Upsilon? I like that name a lot. Also, we did get this guy instead. He gets a plus 10% more, more political power, which is very nice. More army XP is very good too. Um. Other than that, not much else is going on really here. What do we have over here? Bringer Civilization? Ooh, plus 3% max entrenchment would be very nice. Captain Fairy. Fairy Captain. Ooh, Spacewalker Jacoby. Oh, that's kind of cool. Flyboy is definitely not worth it if you can get that guy. Agent C. Caravan Guard. Not bad. Damage Garrisons goes down, which is nice. More organization and attack. That's very good. Army XP gain is not bad, but not great. Agent B is not bad either. Um, Victoria Flyer is not bad, not bad. Anything like normal. You know what? I always choose Golden Gecko. We get more caps, get more stability, get more political power, what's not. I love. Uh, powers of the Apocalypse, um, you know what? Get out of here. We don't want you and your team here. You and your ilk. So we need to reject them. See, so raid their supplies, yeah. Seize so a fort, yeah. Placate them. So. We'll do that. And like I said, oh, need to do two on it. Um, they're, they're manually just fine on us. So. I did throw on some anti tank on our divisions, which would be pretty nice. Because I do know that they have motorized, which would be kind of a pain in the butt to deal with. So we should be okay overall. We have to sell in condemnation, disturbing neighbors. Or come to this one. Huh, remove legacy of Paulus. Uh, yeah, that'd be not bad to do. Let's do this one first, too. According to our intel, the Mescalero knew much about living in the land and surviving rough environments. They would not share his knowledge when they had a say in the matter. But the time's over and they'll, sure, they'll happily tell us what we want to know. Master Vans is super nice. Capitol Hill's gone. Oh, oh boy. Uh, Eyes of the Sky, of course. Project Industrial Development. Legacy of Centurion Paulus. Not good for defense. But it'll be removed ne by next year. Less than a year now, which is good. Uh, compliance is not bad. 100%. Love it. No resistance. No problems. I'm alright. Ah, no, I'm right with that one. Yeah, going to different supplies. Cool. And, yep. I'm just, we're just going to wait for them to attack us. Because I don't know how much we can actually do before they actually do really want attack, to attack us. So, but after that, disturbing neighbors. The fanatics to the north have been planning dumb ideas in a residence. It feels like can tell them to betray and abandon our rules. That cannot and will not be allowed, and they must be taken care of immediately. So, we go to war for the Arch Diocese of Santa Fe. Which, I've been to Santa Fe. Santa Fe is a nice place. Kind of a tourist trap to a degree, but it's kind of nice. Mandatory contracts. That's not bad. Convenient knowledge. That's not bad either. Executives. Wait, what? Oh. Well then. I was not expecting that of them. Are they still going to go to war with us? So I don't mind taking at least a little piece of them. If they do want to go to war with us. It's fine with me. Come on, come to war with us, please. Um, what else? Yeah. Still had it down, but whatever. Uh, does this expire for us? No, it does not. That's very nice, actually. Cool. Oh, they, they did go to war, you know? Surprise, surprise. Are we going to take backwards? If we take one tile, that'd be nice, but we probably can't. Oh. Well, I could probably pierce their uh, really budget or destroyed special forces. We do need special forces, but I still don't know what we need here. Nope. Oh, god dang it. Are they actually established here? Bruh. God dang it. Whatever. Whatever. Good for army XP, though. Oh, what's this? Project Crimson? White Sands, a missile testing range for the Great War that was secretly housing 
on, some, on armed nuclear warheads. It's probably been one of the society's uh, best kept secrets of the year. Sadly, we now possess the launch codes for the missiles, and we only have conflict and reports about the location. Alright. It needs more stability, too. Um, request support. Does this change at all? You get support equipment, which is not necessarily a bad thing. She says join the NCR. Uh, what else do we have here? On a speaker. Maybe ruler intellectuals. Oh. Okay. Gordon Cole. Daily political power and tariffs are not bad. Recruitment population is not bad. Uh, Warmonger would probably be like the one we want to do, but I'm just not sure yet. So we're going to wait. We had General Thomas eventually. Infrastructure. Industrial concern. Eh, it's all right now. I'm going to go with Victoria Flyers. I'm going to be lost. 139. That's not good. We don't have a lot of organization, so. She would appear to anything they have. Workspaces, places, whatnot. Uh, nice. Get more organization's good. Basic tools are good. Should destroy whatever they have here, right? We got plenty of stuff. I don't want to ruin our manpower. Could maybe just let them into our own base. After the war, huh? How much is Agent Cooper learning? He's learning to become a Desert Fox and a Fortress Buster, too. That's pretty decent. Right, Crimson, nice. Disturbing the neighbors. Launch codes. Oh. Armed and ready. Um, green. How about Project Concrete? The scientists of the Blue Rose Society have been working underground for hundreds of years at this point, but the population stayed largely above ground. So it's always been a safety problem, and it will be solved by major expansion of our underground facilities. Sure, why not? You know, if it's not working, just hold. I don't want it to cost you guys too much. What if we did this? Let them attack us. Would they attack us? Would they? Would they not? It's a good question to ask. Because these guys are taking forever over here. Six divisions is not enough. I mean, they could go one, two, three, four, five, six. How many divisions does Santa Fe have? Six fourteen. We'd be really putting ourselves in a pickle if we did that. Or just about one more, maybe. Because if they keep leaving soldiers here, then we'll just attack them again. Go down two to each. There you go. Nope. Oh, quick. See if they might attack. Maybe beat them. These angels might not do very well. You never know. Too. They both have about 1,000-ish manpower-ish. Standardization. Um, it's a little bit ahead of time. I'd rather do research B then if we're going a little ahead of time. I've got expansion B. It sounds very good. I don't know if we need to save a political power or not, but... We're missing our motorized vehicles, but whatever. Underground expansion. Two off-map civilians, fabrication factories, building slots. Um, I would prefer to get the resources like this. Workshops, uranium mining, mini nuke production, ooh. Bioweapon development. Old manuals. Pioneer work. Ooh, humanoid robots. Ooh, I kinda want the robots. Uh, Project Platinum. Our deployment of robotic soldiers during the Legion conflict has shown us that mechanical servants are far more effective than their human counterparts. Now let's get our project developing new better robots. Yeah. That'd be great. Oh, we don't have the tech for that, god dang it. I just need that too. Oh, they're actually pushing back. That's not good. This way. Yeah, 
some organization went out first. Hey, whole time more, but it's not better than nothing. Yeah, just concentrated right there. It's very tough to do that. They're actually beating them back, which is starting to worry me just a little bit. So, let me see. We're on two front war, which means you guys got to back. Yeah, Pioneer work. That'd be great. There we go. Wait, uh, not this one yet. Platinum. Better move around, yeah. Actually, the Fourth Summer Federation is fairly strong. Force defense. Jesus. Shooting theory weakened them, but it looks like we're going to be in a tough, long, drawn out war. Alright, hold on then. Yeah, we're not going to be able to beat them like this. Um, honestly, I don't know if I should use special forces or not, because I, I just don't know yet. If we can use humanoid robots, that's fantastic. So we might as well go with robots then. How many divisions do they have? Why well, some are so strong? So yeah, these guys are definitely going to get beaten up. John, she got in. It really sucks for us because now we can't do anything. God dang it. Um, but maybe we can beat him up when we get the uh, partner work and the uh, useful apps done. We were engineering many flaws, something everyone of researchers know. Therefore, we decided not to copy the work and instead focus on creating new prototypes. Plasma. Special forces. Novel. Infantry invention declared war on them as well. Which is. Oh! Not, not allies and Maxon. John's knowledge. Lead operative, song from the front. We have enough war support as is, so we'll uh, let's get the foot of power. Simulation training's not bad. Quality weapons, more defense, sophisticated infantry attack. Roger Chrome, immediate, intermediate. It seems like we should go robots. I just don't know. You just don't enough, know enough about any of this to really make a good, informed decision. Because if we go over here, I mean, we, we could just go robots the entire time. Um, is it over here? No, it's under robots. C27, because armor is, that's pretty freaking decent. Yeah, you know what, we'll go with robots then. That's gonna be god off for us. You just never know what direction we're gonna go at the beginning. Air Force, Town Defender. Uh... More defense wouldn't be bad. Is that for now? More political power is fine. Useful assets. The team was able to develop a new type of robot that imitates uh, humanoid advantages without losing any of the robotical updates or upgrades. Or did they leave? Should be able to do that then. Oh, they actually made an encirclement here. Nice job. 
Jesus, not bad, man, not bad. Kind of like decryption and reconnaissance. Defense is not bad, damage garrison would be nice, but... Because uh, you can use it for whatever. We, and operative slots, I guess it just kind of goes with our flow already of who we have with us, so... God, I hate infantry. Fighting with infantry just really freaking sucks. God dang it, come on. At least let one of these guys die. And useful assets, uh, federal robot protection robots. With the project near completion, we shall offer a final upgrade of these robots in order to achieve their maximum potential. Underground expansion. Uh, I kind of want the arms workshops. We really need more arms workshops. So you're going to buy underground expansion. Please go ahead. Uh, fabrication factories, laboratories would be nice, but boulderize the tunnels. There's a lot of rubble is gathered under underground tunnels over the past 200 years. A large scale program removal will clear a large amount of space for new factories and underground workshops. Now that the rubble is clear, we can work or we can order the construction of additional workspaces for our personnel because we I just want the arms factories for now because we need them in underground hangar. The final step of concrete is the construction of an underground hangar that provide for our Air Force. With that coverage, they need a wall just granting our scientists a way to experiment with new prototypes more easily. And another guy, Tao. Yeah, why not? And Roger Greed. Chemical warfare has been condemned by many before the war, nonetheless, it's proven to be an effective tool in battle. Now the international condemnation uh, is no longer an issue, and with our newly gained materials, we're able to develop new weapons, powerful enough to scare away all of our opponents, and mandatory contracts. Our current policy of handing out the NDA simply is not enough to keep our new systems pacified. Therefore, we need to intensify our contracts uh, to an extent where everyone is registered and closely monitored to ensure that no one violates contracts and convenient knowledge. The Zealots of the North added a large access to a database of old rules to acknowledge. We kept this knowledge away from the unauthorized eyes at any cost. Now we have acquired their assets and proceeded to digitize and extract everything useful. But we're going to end the episode there and see if I can deal with this a little bit more off screen because this just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as, uh, well, we'll try to beat up Summers Federation and, uh, well, hopefully keep expanding the Blue Rose Society. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.